Shabbos, Parashas Nitzhovim Vayelech. As we go into Rosh Hashanah, the Rosh gives us an extra parasha, some extra zuchuyos we can chop our in the last few moments of the year. Uh, this week's parasha, Nitzhovim, it says that the Rosh Hashanah told Moshe Rabbeinu that uh, you should take this shira, kiss for the a shira zois, and uh, simu befi, and put it in the mouths of Klai Yisrael, so it should be an aid, it should be a testimony of Bnei Yisrael. Why is Torah called a shira? Why are you shoving it in our mouths? Why is you place it? You place it in our mouths, and 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 why is it an aid? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an, we need aidos. What's it being made on exactly? When you hear a song, like a good song, and it resonates with you, the first thing you do is you you grab the first guy you get your hands on, and you stick the headphones on their head. You crank it up so that every human being you know can share this experience. Tyra is a song. Tyra is a song when you hear a vart, you have to share it. Ironically, this is one of those vartlach. You have to, you, you have to share it. It's like, oh my, oh, it just, when it clicks, it's like it's emiss, it resonates with you. Aristotle did this with young children. He had a whole group of people saying things to this kid, and the kid was able to, sit, to, to just feel out what was MS and what was Shekhar? We have something inside of us that tells us what's true. And when it clicks, when it clicks, it's the most beautiful symphony with every little bit and piece of the 101 piece orchestra, the 8 billion piece orchestra coming together. And then the 600,000 components of Tyra and the black and the white. And when you, when, when you just see another neuron firing and it clicks, you have to share it like a song. Okay? Put it in our mouths. If you give it over right, Kai Saw is going to be talking about it. And this is Bezer Shem going to be the aid. It's going to testify for us on the Yom Adin for Hashanah Yom Kippur. When the time comes and, and, and we're all going to be facing a judgment at the Torah and every word that came out of our mouth, you know, it's supposed to be a Ruchos Befiv. You're supposed to speak out Torah. You should, even if you're listening to Shir, say it along with the Magad Shir. Say it out loud. Those words create Malachim creates zuchuya, it becomes uh, an aid, someone to be at our defense on, on, on the Yom Hadin, and uh, is there, there's no bigger bracha than that, could you imagine? You know, the Rebetzin Feinstein, or Moshe's Rebetzin, used to say, she said, my husband is addicted to Torah like an alcoholic to a bottle of wine. It's just like, like, like I, you, you can't not, you, you, you just can't not. The, uh, yeah, all the good they would just disappear in, into Taira. They didn't have what was going on around them. Like nothing else mattered. To, to be totally enveloped, to be oisik by Taira. It's a beautiful madrega. The good say if you spend three hours in learning, you, be, you, you begin to feel it. No, it's all, it all comes in the ritufas. But uh, it's true. If you only hear the low part of a song, you don't get the whole thing. You have you have to really feel it and hear it the second time around, and it starts. Oh, now it starts singing. Now it starts singing. Torah is a song, and and uh, as we continue learning, you'll be able to continue seeing the connection of how Torah is is a song. It's musical, and Be'ez uh, Hashem, it should light us up in Chaim Mesim the way that songs are in Chaim Mesim, like the Gura said, and we should be zeichet to them as the the Tchias Hamesim with Mashiach coming Be'ez Hashem even before the year is out. Why not today? Good night. Good job,